Hello everyone, today we will be going over converting between different angle measures. Before we start, I would like to remind you that we are converting between units. When converting from units, just like in science class, you have what you're converting from on the bottom and what you're converting to on top. Our relationship between radians and degrees is there are pi radians for every 180 degrees. So for our first example, we have 30 degrees. We are, we are converting from degrees to radians. So looking up here, we have 180 degrees on the bottom and pi radians on top. 30 goes into 180 six times. Our degrees cancels out, and we are left with pi divided by six radians. Next up, we are going to look at number four. We have negative 60 degrees. And to get to radians, we divide by 180 degrees and multiply by pi radians. 60 goes into 180 three times. So we are left with negative pi divided by three. Now take a moment and try number two. Okay, so you should have tried number two now. So we have 45 degrees and we are converting to radians. So we multiply by pi radians divided by 180 degrees. Now this is a little bit harder than the others, but we notice that there is a common factor of nine in both terms. Dividing by nine and 45, that leaves us with five. And nine goes into 180 20 times. So we are left with 5 pi divided by 20. But now you notice that you can reduce further. When you reduce further, you are left with 1 over 4 pi. That's the answer to number 2. Now we are going to work the opposite way. We are going to go from radians to degrees. So for our first example, we have 3 pi divided by 2. To get to degrees, we multiply by 180 degrees and divide by pi. So we have 180 divided by 2, that is equal to 90. And then we multiply by 3, that is equal to 270. And then our pi's cancel. So we are left with 270 degrees. For our next problem, you'll look at number eight. We have negative 11 pi divided by six. We are converting from radians, so our pi is on the bottom, and we are converting two degrees, so our 180 degrees is on top. The pi's cancel out, 6 goes into 180 30 times, so we are, equal, we are left with negative 11 times 30 degrees. Negative 11 times 30 degrees is equal to negative 330 degrees. Okay, now we are going to look at which quadrant the angle lies in. So just as a reminder, our quadrants are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Over here, we have 0 and 2 pi. Up here, we have pi divided by 2. Pi and pi, 3 pi divided by 2. Now, let's look at number 9. We have 3 pi divided by 4. 
3 pi divided by 4 is definitely greater than 0. 3 fourths is greater than 1 half, so it's greater than pi over 2. But it is not greater than pi, so that would leave us in quadrant 2. If you want to check, you can see you can convert to degrees and see that this comes out to 135 degrees, which is less than 180, but greater than 90 degrees. Next, let's, let's look at number 12. We have 5 pi divided by 3. 5 thirds is greater than 1 half. It is greater than 1. It is greater than 3 halves. So that puts us in quadrant 4. Now we are going to convert to revolutions. Remember that one revolution is equal to 2 pi. So here we have, for number 13, 5 pi divided by 4. Just like converting 2 degrees, we start off by writing what we are converting from on the bottom, which would be radians. So we have 2 pi radians for every 1 revolution. Our pi's cancel out. That leaves us with 5 fourths times 1 half is equal to 5 eighths revolutions. Now let's do the same thing with number 14. Again, we have 5 pi divided by 3. We divide by 2 pi radians and multiply by 1 revolution. The pi's cancel out, so we have 5 thirds times 1 half is equal to 5 six revolutions. Next up, we have number 15 with 345 degrees, 11 arc minutes, and 12 arc seconds. So we have 345 degrees plus 11 arc minutes. We want to convert that to degrees, so we have 1 degree for every 60 arc minutes. Then we add 12 arc seconds. And we have one degree for every six, sorry, 3,600 arc seconds. Now to get to revolutions, there is 360 degrees per revolution. So we can just divide by 360 degrees. If you plug this all into ca your calculator, you'll be left with a fraction that is 2, 5, 8, 8, 9, divided by 2, 7, 0, 0, 0. Now for a much easier problem, we have 142 degrees. Divide, and just like last time, we divide by 360 degrees. The degrees cancel out. Now a common factor between these two numbers is 2, so we divide out 2, and that leaves us with 71 divided by 180 revolutions. That is it, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.